So there, Martin O'Malley, uh, the crowd went wild there, there at CPAC. I assume you watched the speech. I assume you listened to the speech. Governor, what'd you make of it? Well, I think it was the sort of speech that would be enthusiastically received by this crowd, but this crowd is not representative of the broader America, nor is it representative of, uh, frankly, where the young people of our country believe their nation should be headed. I mean, all of the things that you're hearing from him, Craig, are, are the things that we hear from authoritarian regimes. You know, you have to scapegoat some minority or religious group to say they're stealing the people's greatness. It's the selective populism of fascism that says, I, the strong leader, and only I know what's in your best interest, and the media is your enemy. It is the sort of speech that uses that impoverished vocabulary uh, that discourages free thought. And this is a real critical moment for all of you who have the vocation of, of being uh, uh, journalists to really stand up for, for a country where the freedom of speech is respected. I mean, I've never ever heard a president that I can ever recall saying that the media is not allowed to use confidential sources. Without confidential sources, there is no freedom of press. And that's what he's going directly after here, even as he appeals to that militant white nationalism that's so enthusiastically embraced by O'Bannon and some of the other white supremacists in this uh, administration. Governor, do you buy that, uh, that, that, that assertion from the White House uh, of events that it was the FBI who actually raised the, the topic? Uh, I don't buy that. I, I think that these guys, look, this is a, a very uh, malicious administration uh, whose actions are tempered only by their incompetence. Uh, anyone else who had any experience in government would know that you do not talk to the FBI about an open investigation. And in this case, I think ultimately this will be the unraveling, eventually, of the Trump administration, and that is the criminal collusion with the uh, Russian uh, government and Mr. Putin to undermine our election and, and to do so in ways that violate U.S. election laws, as well as the norms of decent behavior and undermines confidence in our democracy. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.